Hi, my name is Tommy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's look at the latest news from Latin America. Last weekend in Jamaica was decided the fate of Haiti. Following the meeting with the countries of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, the United States and Canada, the non-elected president of Haiti, Ariel Henry, tendered his resignation on Monday. He will remain in power until a transition council is established. It will be composed of nine people, including seven who can vote on everything. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has said Dr. Henry can remain in Puerto Rico or anywhere else in U.S. territory until he is feeling safe enough to return to Haiti. Monday was very difficult for the ex-president of the Republic of Paraguay, Mario Abdo Benitez. The prosecutor's office accused the previous chief of the government on charge of disclosure of secrets, inducing a subordinate to commit a punishable act and false denunciation. Benitez, who was the president of the Republic from 2018 to 2023, was inducted along several other people, such as Carlos Aregui. Arnaldo Giudio, René Fernandez, Carmen Pereira, Daniel Farias, Guillermo Preda, Francisco Pereira, and Mauricio Espinola. The latter is a congressman in the actual government. If they are found guilty, they risk seven years of prison. It follows on the path of former President Horacio Cartes, who was indicted several times by courts in Paraguay and Brazil. Cartes was in charge of the country from 2013 to 2018, owns multiple companies that possess almost all the nation. His business empire is also on the blacklist of the American government. They cannot do any deals with the United States of America. Both presidents and the actual one are affiliated with the Colorado Party of the National Republican Association. Except for one mandate in the early 2000s, the Colorado Party has governed the country since the end of the Second World War. In the next couple of months, courts will tell us if Benitez and his associates are found guilty or not. On March 12, Lima, the capital and biggest city of Peru, was awarded the 2027 Pan American Games. They won with 28 votes. Asuncion, the capital of Paraguay received 24 votes. The voting members were the committees of each country of the Americas. Peruvians put emphasis on the modernization of infrastructure and the creation of new lines of transportation in and around the city. As for Paraguay, they displayed their inclusiveness, having a lot of immigrants from different backgrounds. They also put up front the fact that it is one of the greenest countries in the Americas. Having presented the 2022 South American Games, they thought they had a chance. However, it was not enough. Barranquilla, in Colombia, was first selected to present the 2027 Pan American Games, but were stripped of them when they did not respect the deadline imposed by the committees. On Tuesday also, the King and Queen of Sweden visited Andres Manuel López Obrador in Mexico. The third official visit of the monarchs in the country was to develop the economic ties in between the two nations, but also to inaugurate the Mexico-Sweden Business Forum. King Carl Gustav XVI and Queen Sylvia left Mexico after visiting the Yucatan Peninsula with a group of Swedish businessmen on Thursday. On Wednesday, President of the Republic of Chile, Gabriel Boric and Minister of Economy Nicolas Grau inaugurated one of the biggest solar plants in the country. The project, developed by Grenergy Renovables and partly funded by the government, will supply power for 136,000 homes in the Maule region. It will also prevent 147,000 tons of CO2 per year and be located close to conception centers, avoiding congestion of transmission networks. It will create a lot of jobs in the regions, and the company reassured the government that it will be an inclusive hiring, giving more place to women than ever before. Thanks for watching, and see you next Friday for another video.